Hello, John, the intelligence community. What I have in front of me here is a torque wrench from the Sears Craftsman line. So it's very, very old, obviously. And I've got this from my neighbor's daughter. Uh, unfortunately, my neighbors who I was very close to passed away. So I was able to, uh, to get this for my collection. And um, I know that Craftsman has lifetime warranty, but I did not want to return this torque wrench because it belonged to a friend. This portion, when, no matter how you turned it, it would not lock so that you could either tighten or loosen with the ratchet. So I decided to take it apart and see if there was something going on inside, and there was a, a massive amount of corrosion. So uh, I've already cleaned up most of the corrosion inside the head and all these other parts, uh, soaked them. I've yet to clean this. I just wanted to show you how bad it was, but I didn't see any broken parts. So I'm going to clean this, reassemble it, and uh, then I'll, uh, I'll see if it's still calibrated after all these years. This torque wrench has the original instructions, and one of the other things that I love about it is it says, Made in USA. Another good reason to keep it. In order to open up the mechanism, there's two C-clips of similar design. I use two screwdrivers, one on this side, one on this side. Pushed it together, which compressed the C-clip, and it was, I was able to pull the whole assembly out. On the opposite side, I simply used a pair of needle nose pliers to pull the seed clip together, compressed it completely, and with my hand pulling up on the selector switch, pulled the whole thing out. The hardest part of reassembly is going to be getting this spring and this ball into that hole because that's what holds the selector switch into its position. I'm going to use a little bit of grease to hold this together, but I also need to grease the whole assembly just to keep the corrosion out. So I've got the assembly in there. What I did was I, as I mentioned, put grease on there to keep it sticky, have it all hold, held together. I pushed that ball into its hole with the screwdriver and then pushed this locking assembly into place. And that went in, actually, rather easily. So the selector switch is in place. I put some grease in there to keep it uh, corrosion free. And you can see that this is uh, it's moving nicely. Now to put the rest of this assembly into place. So I would say success. I've got the ratchet working properly now in both directions. And the adjustment still works. So hopefully I've still got a good torque wrench. And don't replace it. Fix it.